everybody and welcome back to my channel yes i'm sitting right next to my window and it is bright as hell outside right now but anyway so it has a little bit of glare coming through here but anyway the lighting is good as long as you guys can see me y'all can see me good right i think they wanted to create a makeup look suitable for mature skin women and this tutorial took me a while to put together because i really really had to think about the fact that hey this is not going to be your usual makeup routine so there are some things you have to take out some things you have to put in but i really really enjoy putting together this entire video and i'm hoping that my mature skin viewers really enjoy this video now if you're a woman over 40 and you still love wearing makeup and you're just looking for simpler ways to get your makeup done and just get out of the house or if you're also starting to try to improve or upgrade the products that you have then you're definitely here in the right place now if you're also a woman 40 and over you have also now stepped over into what we call the mature skin category and the mature skin category requires a lot of skincare it requires a lot of love to your skin it requires investment Investing more in skincare rather than make then using more brands like Estee Lauder, Lancome, Guerlain, Bobbi Brown, Olay, Chanel, all of those different brands that I call out are more so luxury brands with the exception of Olay of course we all know that uh, Olay is one of those preferred um, drugstore brand makeup brands that more mature skin women reach for because he hello I mean hello it's the more affordable one. Nobody can actually invest six or something dollars in like a in like a eye cream or something that's going to restore the elasticity in your skin. All about how high your hand can reach. If you feel like you can afford the luxury brands, then hey, go ahead, invest in your skin. If you feel like you know that's kind of a little bit too high for me, then I would suggest sticking in the drugstore brand market because um, Pixie is also one of the drug those drugstore brand um, products. She has stuff. For as little as like $15 like I remember when I first started using her glow tonic that bottle that small bottle I don't have it in my position right now but that small bottle is somewhere between like 12 to $15 it's, it's really an inexpensive brand it probably has prices that are still even less than only most mature skin women that I know whenever they're doing their makeup they're not really too invested in doing anything that's long and lengthy or doing what they call Instagram makeup or young people makeup. They're really interested in doing something that's simple, something that gets them out of the house, something that gets them to their work early, something that is just simple. Doing my eyebrows to suit my eyebrow shape. Everybody's eyebrow shape is different, so I expect the technique to be different for every single person. But I'm just following the natural shape of my eyebrow and just basically drawing the line, extending it, and then just filling it in with my Milani damp brown. I had to get my eyebrows out of the way because sometimes I feel like I look a little bit weird on camera without my eyebrows on. The thing we're going to do to prep our skin to apply the makeup is of course a primer. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, whenever you're a woman 40 and over, you really want to invest in makeup and or skincare that is more so going to add nourishment to your skin rather than just picking up any old primer of the market to say hey i just bought a primer just so i can prime my skin to apply my foundation the best primers that i think is on the market right now is this of course this one of course from fenty fenty made this soft this instant retouch primer and i think it is one of the best it works really well with my skin type and i continue to use it because it works well with my skin type. it keeps your makeup in place but it also adds a bit of nourishment to your skin now there are lots of great primers on the market like say for instance the one from ysl i think that hydrating primer from ysl now it's a hydrating primer although you know it's probably not my <laughs> for my skin type but i think it's probably one of the best primers on the market there's also this blurring primer from um becca becca is one of those high-end brands as well one of those luxury brands they have really good um primers and you really want to look for you know brands that actually have nourishing ingredients um, in terms of their primers you want to use anything that is quote-unquote cheap or anything that's going to damage your skin the next step time. we're going to move on to is applying our makeup but before we begin this step there's actually another step that some persons may have to take. I have hyperpigmentation, blemishes, dark spots. 
if you have under eye darkness do a bit of color correcting now if you're not comfortable with color correcting or if you feel like as if you might sit up then you can also invest in a full coverage foundation brands like Lancome, Estee Lauder, Guarlain, those actually have um, full coverage or what we call buildable foundation if you have that problem you can just move on to the next step which is applying your foundation concealer powders etc for this look i'm going to be using the lc micro seal foundation now this is a foundation that is not new this one would have been launched back in 2015 however this is one of those foundations that i like to use like i like to continue to use because it's one of those um foundations that add radiance to your skin and when you're a mature skin woman things that you're looking for in your foundation is really i'm not saying that you're looking for that overly dewy luminosity type of look but you're looking for something that's going to keep your skin looking youthful and vibrant and bright and i find whenever i use this micro seed foundation from lc it gives me that really nice um radiant look that I love now it's not one of those full full coverage um, foundations but it is in fact buildable but as you guys can see with just me applying that little bit it applies a small bit of coverage it's, it's one of those foundations that I don't use that often because in most cases I really don't like to add too much radiance to my skin because of my skin type I have to recommend this for mature skin type I would say yes it adds that radiance it adds that glow it adds that youthful look to your skin and it's definitely one of those um high-end brands because one of these foundations costs 45 us dollars yeah and i'm using the shade chestnut now for most mature skin women whenever you're using foundations you really don't need a whole ton of foundation you know applied over your skin of, unless of course you're one of those i'm applying two pumps it's my second pump by the way unless of course you're one of those persons to suffer from hyperpigmentation dark spots etc then the best thing for you to do is to actually buy a full coverage foundation that's going to cover up your skin's imperfections but for somebody like me you know my skin has improved over the years i i probably use the most two pumps and i'm using two pumps in this lc micro sleep foundation because it's really 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 on the light side and i feel like i only see color whenever i add two pumps to my face so this is the second pump where i'm actually starting to see a bit more color now that it's dry okay so we're going to move on to the next stage which is adding a bit of concealer to our under eye area and using it to highlight now in most cases persons who have mature skin don't do what they call <laughs> the instagram makeup or the young people type makeup what they do is just add a bit of concealer to their under eye area and that's probably it that's enough for them and then they just set it with powder so what i'm going to do in this tutorial i'm going to use the same um pull on wear concealer from mac that you guys know i use to sculpt up my eyebrows and i'm just going to add a bit of it on my under eye area and i'm going to be using this to basically cover the darkness of underneath my eye i actually think i applied way too much to a skin woman this would probably be too much and this would probably be just enough so i'm going to just blend this out just press it in with um, my NYX sponge and that's just going to help to conceal the darkness underneath my eyes I'm going to go in with another concealer now my true skin is all about investing in good makeup so I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Creamy Foundation this one is in the shade Armand and I'm just going to be applying just a small bit of it to add a bit more just to add some brightness in the under eye area the first concealer was really just to hide the darkness now i'm just going to add a bit more concealer and i'm just going to tap it with my finger first just so that it blends out into my skin just like that in with my beauty sponge and just press that concealer underneath my eye so that i have that nice youthful brightness and I'm also covering the darkness that's underneath my eyes. If you have dark eyelids like I do, you can also take the same beauty sponge to use the excess concealer to conceal some of that darkness. Now when you have mature skin, there are a lot of steps that you can skip. You know the young people makeup, as you guys say, you know, we highlight not only our under eyes, but also a highlight our forehead, our chin, some persons even highlight their nose, some persons just go all the extra mile. If you are a woman that's 40 and over, we can skip all of that and just set our under eye concealer with a bit of setting powder. 
so i'm going to be using this one from laura mercier it's their translucent loose setting powder and this one is in the shade medium deep now i'm using the shade medium deep because of the color of my skin of course and i'm just going to be using that to set the under eye concealer and just press it all the way in when you're a mature skin woman the baking thing is not even considered. You just press that powder all the way in to set your under eye highlight. And if you want to go down maybe just a little bit and maybe press some a little bit right here, then that's also fine. But the main, main area we really want to conceal is right underneath that eye area where we apply the concealer because we don't want to see any creasing, no slipping and sliding or anything like that. I use my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. It's really because as your skin matures, you know, you're not gonna be too much concerned about the Sasha Buttercup powder and all those different things. You really want to invest in brands like these, which are high-end brands that do more for your skin in keeping it youthful and young and vibrant, like I've said throughout this entire video. So if you're a woman over 40, invest in a powder like this, and I definitely recommend this powder from Fenty as well, the Instant Retouch Powder. I, to me, so far, on the market that I've used, I feel like these two, in terms of using them on mature skin, I feel like these are probably the best translucent powders that they have on the market right now for mature skin women. Now next up we're going to move on to is bronzing. When you have mature skin, you can skip the whole contour thing and just jump straight into bronzing. This bronzing actually adds back that nice warmth radiant look to your face that you actually want so you can so a lot of mature skinned women actually don't contour but they use a lot of bronzes now, there are a lot of bronzes on the market that i think are absolutely amazing you guys know i love that one from um cover girl the queen's collection one that one is amazing i absolutely love this one from fenty this one i'm using is from fenty this one is called mocha mommy this adds the most stunning warmth to my dark skin when you're a mature skin woman you're looking for radiance you're looking for warmth you're looking for everything that just adds glow and flourishment <laughs> to your skin you're looking for all those good products that just adds back that greatness into your skin you really want your investment in your skincare to show so you have to invest in great makeup one that i found is amazing is the terracotta is it terracotta the terracotta powder one from Guerlain I think I'm gonna put it down in the description but that one is amazing the only thing is of course you know Guerlain is one of those luxury brands so a bronzer is probably somewhere between like 40 to 60 US dollars so if you want to invest in that you know it's only you you know you're using it so it's going to last you for at least a year it's like an investment makeup skincare it's an investment that we have our complexion products on let's focus a little bit on the eye area and um here's a great thing about having mature skin or if you want your skin to just continue looking young and youthful you don't always have to apply a black liner to your eye area and it's probably one of those staples it's one of those um colors that you find a lot of persons using to line their waterline however i find whenever you're a mature skin woman um using what we call a nude liner or something that's close to your skin's complexion like say for instance i'm going to be applying this um brown shade which would be considered a nude for my skin's complexion to my waterline use a nude pencil in your waterline to add a little bit more brightness or to open up your eyes some more if you want to do that but if you're comfortable and if you're okay with applying a black liner then that is also fine there are also a lot of mature skin women who don't like to apply blush to their makeup there are also some who don't like to apply eyeshadow to their makeup either don't have the time or they just don't know how to apply the eyeshadow makeup actually goes with your age so if you're a more mature woman you're not going to be looking to create something with like five different eyeshadow colors you're going to be looking to create something that's neutral something that's youthful something that's more suitable or more age appropriate so um for this look i'm thinking i'm just going to skip the eyeshadow and i'm going to move on to applying a bit of glow to my cheek now i know in some cases in most cases i should say some mature skin women don't like applying blush to their um, makeup routine for those of you who still like blush and you still want to incorporate a bit of blush into your routine i would highly recommend using liquid blushes and one of the reasons why i recommend liquid blushes is because they are some persons say, say they're a little bit um harder to work with but i don't think so i feel like if you add just a small bit of liquid um, blush to your cheek and you blend it out with your fingers 
and it's, and it's going to also add a bit more radiance and a bit more youthful look to your look and it just brightens up the cheek area a lot more <laughs> the liquid blush I just used on my cheeks is from NARS it is in the shade that was say detail I know some persons are so scared of adding highlight to their makeup routine because they feel like it's a bit much and then you know you have persons that are on Instagram that are just overdoing the whole glowed up look even sometimes I feel like I overdo it sometimes, but I'm going to kind of handle it. So um, for this look, I'm going to be using um, the NARS Orgasm Highlight. This is like an everyday highlight that I think is perfect for my true skin. Um, it just adds a bit of natural glow. Listen, I find I'm using a lot of NARS products in this tutorial. We are not done. Ooh, look at that glow. You see that nice soft glow? I just absolutely love how that just adds that really nice soft glow right here. All right, so we're not done with the eye area. Most cases, some mature skin women just like adding their mascara and adding their lipstick and then they're out the door. But in most cases, like for instance, persons like me who have very little to non-existent lashes, I like incorporating um, an eyelash primer or one of those dual um, mascaras. Like for instance, this one here from L'Oreal, where it has the primer at one end and then the mascara on the other end. Somebody like me who has very little lashes should always use an eyelash primer. Like use it as a like a base, like as a coat, like coat my lashes with it before I apply any sort of mascara. And it just really helps. And you can do the same thing to your bottom lashes. So I like doing my top lashes first and then go in and do the bottom lash area this is probably like dual dual mascaras like these that's from l'oreal is probably one of the easier things that you know women who have mature skin it's probably easier for you to invest in something like that rather than buying uh, a primer by itself and then a mascara by itself of the best lash primers that i've used to date is that one from christian dior yes i know christian dior is one of those high-end luxury brands but he has this eyelash primer that I think is absolutely amazing. It just pulls every strand or every, it just grabs everything. And then whenever you apply mascara over it, it just brings everything to life, I'm telling you. For the first time since I've tried the Fasali Rose Gold Skin Mist, I've actually just tried using it. As a setting spray for this look all right so let's move on to the final thing which is just applying a bit of lip color now as a mature skin woman you really don't have time to do a whole lot when it comes to just applying something on your lip now there are some of you who love the retro red lipstick look there are some of you who still like the whole natural thing going on on your face on your lip everywhere all right so for this look i'm just going to be using a very nude gloss two glasses to be um, exact i'm going to be using one of these butter glasses from nyx cosmetics this one is in the shade madeline and this is from patrick ta this is one of his recent releases it's called she's an influencer so i'm going to apply madeline to take the tip of my fingers and just blend that out and then I'm just going to add she's an influencer right over Madeline. Madeline and on her own looks absolutely stunning but you guys know I'm the extra type of girl so I'm going to use a glass over another glass. All right so we have come to the end of this tutorial and I have to say right this is probably one of the most challenging um, tutorials I've done to date and challenging in the aspect where I had to constantly remind myself, you know, that this is not one of your regular makeup routines. So you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. I had to constantly remind myself of that. But hey, I made it through and we now have a makeup look that mature, my mature skin viewers or subscribers can now enjoy on my channel. By the way, if you are a returning subscriber or if you are a returning viewer and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and also don't forget to click the bell button the button is going to give you an email notification to alert you and let you know that i now have a new upload on my channel thank you guys so much for being here with me once again on my channel for this tutorial and i'll talk to you guys real soon on my next upload bye bye